Hey everybody, uh, just going to do a quick uh, tutorial on how to uh, set a Roland TD20 kit up to Superior Drummer 2.2 or 2.0, sorry. So what we have here is the TD20 module. I'm sending my MIDI out of the TD20 and down into a, a Personas audio box which is on the floor. From the Personas audio box I go USB into the laptop and there I can either use my recording program which I'm using Reaper, or I can use the standalone player, uh, the Tune Track Solo. But I prefer to use Reaper, so that's what we'll do. So I click Reaper, I open it up. As you can tell, I have a new project started, so you're not going to see any anything yet. So basically, to connect this to the computer, I would click Insert, a Virtual Instrument on a New Track. I will click VSTI, Superior Drummer 2.0, or Tune Track. There, I'll just click OK. There, it will give me my options. I can change those in the Construct window of Tune Track if I would like, but that's 32 stereos out, so uh, gives me separate track for kick drum, snare, toms, and everything like that. So it makes for a very professional recording, so I'll click Yes. Now, this is the Construct window of Superior. And this is basically the default kit that would come in Avatar. But I also have the, the Metal Foundry as an add-on. So, And I've uh, pre-configured a whole drum kit to play with my TD20. So I'll go into there, Load Save Feature, and I will quick, click on the Load Project. So in here I have a TD20 kit with the Andy Sneak presets, which is a new package for $10. Um, pretty awesome stuff. Some nice sounding uh, presets. And then I have my pretty well raw kit with no effects here, uh, TD20 template. So I'll open that up, and you have a good look at her. You can see what I've assigned to this kit, so it's pretty big. There's the total amount of memory it takes to run this drum set, which is 1440 megabytes. And right now it's currently loading up the samples. So if I were to hit any of these pieces, you will see where it corresponds to the kit that I am using. So. It's not fully loaded yet, but you can, you can see right here that the snare is actually... The velocity, everything, it's, it's very accurate. You can do buzzes, buzz rolls. Uh, rim triggering. Positional sensing as well. So the outside, you're not going to get the same from the inside. Also got uh, on the rims. I've I've set it up in Superior that if I hit one of the rims, you'll see that I've got some X drums over here, which I can switch to look like a cymbal or a kick, whatever I've you know preset that to be. Um, I'll go into more detail when I do some more videos on that and how I I do the learn feature. Which actually the learn feature is pretty simple. You would that's my first tom, so you can see it's lighting up. Now if I wanted, I could drop down the menu and I can switch that to any of these toms just by clicking on them and it will change that to that tom. I can also highlight it and down here I can select edit the articulation only and if I click that little tab it will light up blue and I can set it to you know I can put a symbol over here highlight that and I'd be able to to use the learn feature and turn that into my rims into a symbol like I have see that this one's coming from here. We have another one here. Still the tom, tom, cymbals. See that? I think I have a china on this one. Oh, that's actually a ride. And then also have a china there. So you can also X this out if you want it to. It's not going to whoop, disappear. It uh, it's always there. You can see all my levels for recording come up in Reaper. Everything's chokeable. Feature a real 
drum kit would have it has. Your hi-hat's there. Um, I'll be upgrading that to a VH12. I have one, but it's a little bit of a commission right now. Uh, i got to send it to Roland and get a, some new jacks put in it. There seems to be a short, so for now my hi-hat ain't as uh, high quality as it will be once I get my hi-hat fixed. So, like I said, to record it's quite simple. You have, down here's your record button. So if I wanted to start recording something, I just click record. It'll, it'll start doing the bar. I can do a quick example of it, I guess. So there's the record button. You can see it's now recording everything I drum. select now is to save everything. Now that whole track's been saved. If I rewind it by simply going all the way back and I click play, uh, you'll get a sample of the track I just recorded. And, uh, you know, I, can, I can also go in and put more the track. Down here you can see all the levels. So I don't know how good you can hear me with that with the drums on, but down here you can also see all the levels of everything. You can go in, tweak, uh, you know, set your levels a little more perfect before you would click file and save as the project and as a recording. You can also click to render the project, which will kind of save it in a wave format, but uh, you won't have all these separate tracks like you do now. And if you make any mistakes. Uh, you know you're doing a good track and you make any mistakes and you decide you want to fix something well right here is all the MIDI mapping so every drum is one of these hits if your volumes aren't loud enough you can actually go in and, and reset everything uh, that can take you hours to do but you know if you find you you hit a tom that was supposed to be a cymbal in one part of the song and uh, it's damn near a perfect take instead of trying all day again to to replicate that track and get it as good you can just go in you can delete the symbol throw it in as a you know or delete the tom that wasn't supposed to be there and put it where it should be as a symbol and a lot of stuff like that so uh, it, it makes making perfect tracks a little easier there's a lot more to it that uh, I just quite haven't learnt yet I've only been working with uh, Reaper for about a month now, so as I get better, everything will get better, and I, you know, that's a sample for you, and uh, I'll be making a ton of videos in the future, and uh, I'll have the big PA set up, and we'll do a lot of, uh, you know, drumming to music. I'll do some Soulfly, some Gojira, and uh, some of the or um, original project I'm working on with a friend that uh, we're doing all online, so you get a little bit of that as well. I'll do some samples, and... Uh, I'll also do some short lessons online as well, so stay tuned and keep checking my page. Thanks.